Let's go straight to Mr. Laldu Oma, the IPS officer, our newsmaker of the moment, joining us. Thank you so much, Mr. Laldu Oma, for joining us. You've been in politics for a very long time, became an MP way back in 1984. Now, all these years later, almost 40 years later, did you ever think this day would come when you'd become chief minister? Congratulations. Yes. You know, my life is full of struggles. My life is full of struggles. And uh, I've been in politics for 39 years. And um, people know me, and I know them. And ultimately now, thank God, with the blessing of God and the blessing of the people. We'll the political be observers outside Mizoram, Mr. Aldoma, your party is seen as an Ahmadmi party like a phenomena, you know. Coming from nowhere, a motley group of civil society activists coming together. Growing up, you were not even a proper political party in the last elections. You've risen from there. What, according to you, explains this spectacular victory? Mainly because they want to change and they want to have a better government, a more efficient, corruption-free government. And particularly the farmers, they have high hope on us. And we are going to fulfill their hopes and expectations and aspirations. We are not going to let them down. Mr. Laldu Oma, most regional parties in the Northeast tie up with whoever is in power in Delhi. Is there a possibility you'll also join hands with the BJP, become part of NEDA, the Northeast Democratic Alliance? No, 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 not at all. We are not going to tie up with any political forum at the national level. We are a genuine regional party, but with a national outlook. We don't want to be decided, I mean, they dictated from Delhi. We want to take final decision in our own hands here. At the same time, we would like to have a good relationship with the central government, whoever is ruling down there. You know, you spent a lot of time in the Congress before deciding to set up this uh, local regional front. You were considered close to Indira Gandhi. What, according to you, explains the decline in the current status of the Congress in all the northeastern states? That is not only uh, in the context of Missouri. I mean, the whole country is declining, and slowly, slowly they are climbing up now. But uh, things are not, you know, in, uh, uh, in favor of Congress as far as the context of Missouri is concerned. Now, you made Mr. Laldu Omar the fight against corruption drugs, as you said, part of your agenda. One of your key reasons why you won was your anti-corruption agenda. But do you really think it's possible to end corruption in public life? You've been a former police officer, decorated police officer, who took on even the drugs mafia in Goa in the 1970s. To put an end totally to the corruption may not be possible. But we are going to reduce and we are going to control. You know, a lot of political pundits, when they're trying to explain the ZPM phenomena, are referring to the Zoram People's Movement as a Aam Admi party-like formation in the Northeast and in Mizoram, coming from nowhere, forming this party, coming to power. It's almost like uh, Afghanistan beating Australia in terms of how significant this victory is. How do you respond to all these comparisons with Arvind the Kejriwal's Aam Admi party? <laughs> Maybe because, you know, I have uh, a personal relationship with uh, the Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi. And uh, we have been together in public making speeches. And the principles and policies of Aam Admi Party and ZPM is almost the same. <laughs> Maybe because of that. Otherwise, we don't have any further connection in between us. Well, Mr. Laldu Omar, we wish you very well. We hope that you will go, uh, you will offer Mizoram uh, a new vision. As you said, you are a, you've had a remarkable career in public life, played various roles. All one can say is uh, good luck to you. Thank you very much for joining us.